show you how to um, forward the ports that you need for a SRCDS server. Well, I've got them here. Well, first what you've got to do is uh, press start. Then uh, if you have XP, run will be here. And if you have Vista, no clue where. But on Windows 7 it would be somewhere here. Oh, Nexus Y. And run. Okay, when you have the run uh, window, you've got to type CMD. When you're there, type IP config. And then you will see a bunch of IPs. You need the default gateway. It will be like something like 192.168.1.1. Go to that, type it in uh, your uh, ex uh, browser. When you're there, uh, some people need to go to advanced because uh, yeah and uh, but mine is at firewall <coughs> you've got to search a bit uh, I have a bit too many so I'll just delete some later you need, you need only three slots for this okay let's add one so her name will say uh, SRCDS1 then you put there 27020 and under that two seven zero three nine. you uh, and here where it says local IP address you can go to CMD again it says IPv4 address that's what you need I put that at local IP address. Then you press apply, uh, and then you add another one. Call it SRCDS2. X activate the DS protocol. UTP. Oh yeah, what we forgot at the other one is uh, activating access and putting it to UDP. I already have it. It has to be UDP. Oh, see, it's here. Let's edit this one. Modify. UDP. Activate it. Later. And then add again. This is the last one. Should name is RCDS3. Activate. Yes. UDP. Port from that to. 27020 apply that means you can give your uh, dedicated server a port between 27000 and 27020 so if you can, if you want you can host like 20 servers on your uh, computer but that won't be like good quality and be lagging like shit if you have a bad call bad internet connection and if your specs are low well do it like me I have uh, some dedicated servers and uh, I asked mine on them thank you for watching I'll put these ports on the site bar you can find them there thank you for watching this was Tekken Game Info do not forget to subscribe and comment and if you have any suggestions for the next tutorial comment them below